all right so the next problem is based based on a cylinder and not on this infant formula okay so uh, in the next problem we've been given uh, we've been given a cylinder which has been kept in a particular position for which we'll be drawing the front view and the top view this is going to be very interesting as it is a one step problem and uh, i want all of you to pay attention and uh, here we go let's switch to the problem description and then uh, i'll demonstrate all of this to you very very beautifully don't worry okay this is going to be fun let's start reading the problem first of all here we go so uh, we have a cylinder the diameter is 50 axis is 65 mm long lying on hp on its curved surface lying on hp on its curved surface with its axis inclined at 45 degree to vp so the axis is inclined to vp and parallel to hp okay it's, it's very clear if it is lying on hp okay then does not matter what angle it makes with the vertical plane it is going to stay parallel to the hp that is for sure i'll give you proper reasons for it okay with some very good demonstrations so do watch the video entirely draw the projections of the cylinder let's straight away write down the data which have been provided in the question number one the dimensions of the cylinder here they are base is 50 mm diameter radius is 25 okay sir. length of the axis is 65 so uh this is 25 mm radius center center the distance between them is the axis length that's 65 and please note that it is lying on its curved surface lying on the curved surface sir, iska kya matlab hota hai? how would it look if it is lying on its curved surface on sir on hp is written so it is going to be something like this okay axis starts here axis ends here and does not matter if you keep it like this the axis still remains parallel to hp if you keep it like this it will still parallel to hp if you keep it like this it is still parallel to hp does not matter okay rotate it entire 360 degrees you will note that axis is always parallel to hp now um we also have been given in the question that the axis is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the VP. Sir, uh, it is a two-step problem. This is something that we can easily work out. But what should be our step number one? Just wait. Let me set it up for you. Let's say this writing pad, it becomes our vertical plane. Agreed? Okay. Let me keep my phone over here. Girnavad bhai tu. Okay. <clears throat> this is the cylinder can. Now, <clears throat> we've been clearly stated that axis is inclined at 45 degrees to the VP. And uh, before that, it has been said that it is lying on its curved surface on HP. Okay. Let me switch to the full screen mode. Here we go. So this is now lying on its curved surface. Okay. If the axis is making 45 degrees to the VP, the case is like this. Let me show you from the top. This is how the case is. You can see the axis starts here and it ends somewhere here. If you produce extend this line further, it is going to cut the vertical plane somewhere here. Okay. Now try to imagine this. Here the angle will be made with the VP. This angle is 45 degrees. This is what has been given in the question. Please remember the standard procedure that I taught all of you in the first lecture of my playlist from projection of solids. If the axis is making any angle either with HP or VP, here in this case it is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane. Okay. For step number one, your initial assumption is going to be like this. Keep it perpendicular keep the axis perpendicular to the vertical plane step number two step number one step number two step number one so when i say axis is perpendicular you can see this starting point of the axis ending point of the axis somewhere here okay right at the center center and if you if you simply try to extend this line take a look at this line this is the axis. if you extend this line produce this line it is going to meet this vertical plane somewhere here and the angle made okay try to imagine this is going to be 90 degrees for sure now when this is the case this is going to be your initial assumption for step number one 
and in step number two you can incline the axis okay let's talk about step number one the question that i'm going to ask all of you is from where can you see the true shape of the base sir the base is right here so from where can you see the true shape sir we can see the true shape of the base from the front and therefore you have to begin by creating the front view first okay and please what is this sir this is the horizontal plane so or piche chale jaun kya main okay okay what is this then sir this is the xy line basically you need to make sure that your drawing in your drawing the bottom of the circle is touching the xy line in the front view in the front view uh the horizontal plane looks like an edge isn't it this is that edge you can shade so okay so now i think we can we can definitely begin and in step number two we are going to do it like this making an angle of 45 degrees and this is what you will see let me discuss this out also this portion is clearly visible yes sir this outline is also purely visible yes sir this outline is also purely visible yes sir and this outline yes sir this is also visible so what's not visible this outline is not visible at the back this one is not visible for the front view and this is what has been asked in the question right so something which is not visible sir it is a hidden feature how do you represent it sir we represent it using dash lines to lagana padega dash line and then also uh, don't forget to make the center uh, not the center but make the axis okay which connects the two centers one at the front one at the back i think enough talking let's straight away get to the solution of the problem and banate hain isko chalo kaise banaye par chalte hain yahan pe and uh, let's start <coughs> true shape of the base can be seen from the front okay like this we are keeping in in touch with the xy line which in a way indicates that the cylinder is in touch with the horizontal plane samajh gaya okay so are there any corners in the cylinder no sir there are no corners what can you do sir we can uh, generate our own imaginary corners how we can divide the cylinder into eight parts the front of the cylinder that means the front circle and the back circle like this itna kar loge bhai eight parts mein divide okay now uh, as far as the front part is concerned again <laughs> let me take you to the demonstration once again as far as the front part is concerned what we are going to do is we are going to number it by alphabets okay and the back back portion we are going to uh, uh, number it i mean name it by numbers okay represent the back by numbers like uh, in the front portion what we'll do is let me show this to you a b c d e f g h a b c a a ruk ja thar ja a b c d e samajh gaye bandhu okay similarly we are going to start from here 1 2 3 and so on at the back so you can do this very easy it's, it's, right okay let's take a look at it from the top when you take a look at it from the top what do you see sir from the top what we see is a simple rectangle nothing else it is a clear cut case of a rectangle isn't it what do you see sir we see a rectangle how much is this sir this is 65 the axis is beneath it right this is 65 okay so uh, let me implement this very very quickly here we go at any random distance this distance can be said taken as 1 cm let's say 10 mm by the way this is what you need to do this is 65 mm can you do this and these are what you call the generators of the cylinder um step number 1 is almost done and uh, what you really need to do is to make these points let me show this to you for example take a look these are for alphabets at the front these are for numbers at the back as far as alphabets are concerned a a h h then just below h there is b that is why along with h we have written b then g just below g there is c so g c in the same fashion there are the same representation as at the back i hope you can understand this very very easily now in the next step what we'll do is we are going to go for the axis inclination okay we want to see the realistic look again hmm? here it is 
this is what is this sir this is step number one what did you do in step number one sir we kept the axis at an angle of 90 degree with the bp okay so in step number two what we'll do is we will going to go for the rotation here the axis now makes an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane this is what we will see so basically what you need to do is this was your top view from step number one okay you have to remake this top view into step number two but you need to rotate it at an angle of 45 degrees so how can this be accomplished and this is going to be your final front view this is what we are going to make finally don't worry banai isko okay aaja ab ho gaya yaar ab ab object aur nahi dikhayenge main abhi bhavnaon mein baith jata hu all right hmm. please remember one thing if the uh, how shall i put this if the axis makes an angle of theta with either the hp or vp then in that case the base is going to make an angle of 90 minus theta so in this case sir here the axis is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane so obviously 90 minus theta that is 45 will give you the value again as 45 this is a coincidence <laughs> in case of 45 degrees we get both the angles both axis and base as 45 okay not in any other case it's a rarity so what we'll do is we are going to recreate this line over here but at an angle of 45 degrees you need to do this okay these same points let me tell you very very honestly uh, uh, these same points have to be marked first of all using the compass once that is done the next step is going to be very very simple you need to take use of your mini drafter keep it like this into this position and then tighten the screw drafter lock get your drafter to e f d g c and h p and uh, start uh, drawing lines using this scale over here like this yes sir this is very easy okay complete it so what we basically done is we have copy and pasted top view from step 1 into step 2 the one thing that we've kept in mind is that we have rotated it as well at an angle of 45 degrees so please note here we kept the base at an angle of 45 degrees if you want to extend the axis you'll realize the axis also makes an angle of 45 degrees okay once this is done now 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 time to have some fun let's uh, have the lines from the bottom to the top and from the left to the right and the intersection points for example 7 and 3 are going to lie along this vertical line 7 that's the location 3 that's the location in the same fashion you can find the remaining points as i told you what you can see is this let me show this to you once again ye dikhega bhai aapko ye dikh raha hai okay this is what you can see and uh, let me take you back to the main diagram this is what you can see clearly hmm? try to visualize this inside your head right and sir this outline is also visible dikhta ke outline haan ji bana do please check this sir this curved portion is also visible dikhta kya bana do sir this outline is also visible at the bottom so create it sir whatever is left whatever features are left also has to be given respect although we cannot see them directly because uh, there is this portion which is at the back which you cannot see this portion you can see but this portion you cannot see therefore you have to give it respect in the form of hidden lines i mean or dashed lines right and i have also made the axis if you noticed okay so the question is almost done now let me take you back to the main diagram okay what's next uh, students keep in mind that all of these construction lines that is the projectors have to be kept very very light so keep it like this and secondly we need to dimension uh, the diameter was given as 50 mentioned the length of the axis is 65 that is also mentioned mentioned and uh, if you want to take a realistic look at the drawing it would look something like this realistically okay that's the entire drawing i hope everyone watching this video have now got a good grasp 
even by just watching this video you now have a good grasp as to how such problems can be tackled right